What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. We're in the white room. Shouts out to my boy Mel for the Brad Farr Pro Bowl throwback jersey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jersey, what's up, man? Anyway, so Math Hoff of Space Ghost, Esco, and Heineken continue to flare up. They all did separate interviews. Mav had did an interview talking about how they were trying to extort him. I knew when he said that that wasn't true. Because why would they try to extort you? It's your show. They can't extort you. Extort you for what? Mav's response was, he tried to get $100,000 out of me for all my equipment, trying to extort me and then disrespected me. Well, the Bible say one man's story sound good to the next man start speaking. And when you hear what Space Ghost and them talking about, they just got more evidence. It, it, look, it, it's like you have to explain how all three of these guys who was all co-hosting with you, all lead, the cameraman lead, and the co-host guys who doing the interviews with you, all them gone. Saying the same thing. You the only one left and you countering, you countering everything they saying. See, the thing about, the thing about what Math is doing, man, is, is this. He trying to play clean up, right? And you countering what they saying only lets me know that what you saying is a bunch of BS. Because if that was the case, you would have just put it out here out the gate. Okay? If they would have just left and wouldn't have said nothing, then you wouldn't have said nothing. You only saying something because they came out saying something. If they didn't say something, you wouldn't have said nothing. Simple as that. So the problem is when you countering what they saying, you only trying to do cleanup. That's all it's about. You doing cleanup. So he said they was extorting him. Well, the faith go from trying to extort him for 100000 holding his equipment for ransom. When come to find out, you ain't even... Get what type of equipment you got worth $100,000? Why would this man want your cameras now for $100,000? That lets me know of more to the story about it. But this even more faker and show what greed is really all about because you don't want to pay these dudes they worth. You don't want to pay these dudes they worth. And everything that they did to actually put you in a position to get the contract you got with Revolt. And you don't want to break bread with these brothers. Crazy thing about it, you ain't trying to break bread in no type of way. You don't feel they're entitled to anything. And that's wrong. And that's what's wrong with that picture. But, but then again, just like what niggas would do. If y'all had something between y'all legs that he liked. If, if y'all had vaginas, y'all wouldn't even be in it. This wouldn't even be a conversation. This wouldn't even be a conversation. They say when you put money into the hands of people, man, it really show who they really is. If you notice, it was all love before that money got involved. I remember that same play out. Before we get off into this audio, I remember the same play out. How me and my guys used to be the best of friends till that money started coming in. When that money started coming in, it just showed what they always had in their heart to some degree. What they were desiring. This ain't no different. Stop calling me on blogging. That's what the thing is. This ain't no different. Now, when I look at the situation, I see by looking at the evidence that's out here of what's really going on, 
Let me tell you what I mean by that. Watch this. That's 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 crazy. Like the way that you explained it, and now it don't sound like extortion. I mean, he didn't really give complete context to it when he explained it. He said, you know, that you had that you had his equipment, and that's what you was asking a hundred thousand for. But now what you're no, I, I don't about want the content. Equipment. I don't want. He want the content. Three sixty camera and a tripod and a microphone. I don't want that equipment. I don't. He got a three sixty camera. A tripod and a microphone, but saying I'm trying to extort him for a hundred thousand dollars. He got a 360 camera, a tripod that he stands on, and a microphone. But I'm trying to extort him for a hundred thousand. But you know, my Mav, he, he loved to act. They trying to extort me. They were trying to extort thought me. Then they disrespected my lady. See, you want to make it seem personal to now be justified by not coming to an agreement to reconcile the situation to treat all parties fair. So he threw that in there so it can go back to what he don't want to do in the first place. Pay nobody. So now we get to the point, yo, this ain't even about the money, yo. Now, this is about violating me. You understand what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Come on, stop with these games. If these dudes never would have came out saying something, he wouldn't have never said nothing. He's only saying something. Because he looking some type of way now. Because they letting it be known what happened. Let's listen to some more of this. Right, right. It. He's trying to get the content. He wants the content basis. to be That's licensed, but he cannot license the content that I worked on without me being in the negotiation, which is part of his bullshit contract that is not voided because he didn't sign it. So what I'm hearing right. from you is you were not compensated for the services that you provided, which... So he gave them a contract that he didn't sign. So he wanted them to sign a contract that he didn't sign. So let's talk about the contracts he gave them that he didn't sign. But he gave it to them for them to sign. What's the purpose of that? Well, for a couple reasons. If he didn't sign it, he's not obligated to anything because there was never a contract signed in. Another thing, if he didn't sign the contract and he wanted them to sign it, then give it back to him. That only means that he could add on to the contract without them knowing what he's adding on to the contract. Then he signed it. See what I'm saying? So he's trying to be conniving, allegedly, about this whole ordeal, if what they're saying is true, based upon him sending them unsigned contracts that he was supposed to have signed, showing he okay with it, and they signed off last. But he sent it to them blank so that they can sign it and send it back. And he could allegedly add on to the contracts, then sign his name of something they probably didn't have knowledge of and was aware of when they signed. So that was that that, that was like a snake move right there. That was a snake move right there. Then the man only asked him for a hundred thousand dollars out of your 2.7 million your almost three million he asking for a hundred thousand rightfully so seeing that that man been working on the show for years for years come on man come on there yeah. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No. 
It's out of pocket, man. That ain't greed. What is? But again, let y'all have something between y'all legs. All right, this wouldn't even be an argument. He would have gave you that hundred thousand. You know what's so fake about this whole thing? The purpose of the show is supposed to be about real stuff. How could you talk real stuff and you being exposed to being fake? Got all this advice to give to others. All this breaking down what's true, what's real, and how brothers need to come together. And I'm an Israelite. He said he an Israelite. <laughs> Right, rightfully so, because all they do is rip people off. All they do is lie, scheme, and deceive and rip people off. How you going to have the show popping real facts, popping the truth, and you robbing cats? And you, and, 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 and you, you, you a thief. You literally a thief stealing from your own self. Playing people, using people. Being conniving. Like you never had nothing. Another reason why I believe this to be true is because this was being said about you even before these dudes came on board. Hollow accused you of the same thing. When you and him got into it. And we saw how you double backed on him and tried to snake him on the LOM thing. Knowledge did the same thing, said the same thing about you. Like it's always about money. And then you always come on board, try to play the victim role. You try to play the victim role. You put on this act, you do this con game thing because that was your MO before you went legit. When you were the stick up man. When you with the NYB, that's the role of a stick-up man. Put on these masks, pretend to be cool, and next thing you know, you up, you up in the pistol. Why God thought you were cool? Like, oh man, what's up, man? I thought we was no, no, no. That's what it is. Only thing, the only thing that you doing in, without a pistol, you didn't stuck these dudes up. You didn't stuck up Space Ghost, Exco, Ian Heineken. Spent a hundred thousand dollars and you didn't sign to almost a three million dollar deal, and you still gonna have more money coming in. You come on, what are you doing? Come on, man. But like I said, y'all don't get this stuff comes back on you. You don't get away with this type of stuff. You don't. I'm sorry. Sorry. You don't get away with this type of stuff. It come back on you. You don't understand. You thinking you being blessed. You don't even know these so-called blessings may actually be your chastisement and punishment. Like so many of these young dudes in the rap industry under the impression that they was blessed. Oh yeah, I'm blessed. You know, man, I just got new contracts. I just got all this money. I just got all these deals. Yeah, you know, I'm blessed. God is blessing me. Right. Next thing you know, they smoked. They brains blew out. Just like Biggie Mama said. My son probably would have still been alive if he wasn't a rapper. Thinking he was blessed. He would have still been alive. Same thing with the Eden brothers. It's not blessed. You know you blessed when you do unto others as you want done unto yourself. You know you blessed when you trust in the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, soul, mind, and spirit. If you haven't reached that point till you can put them both together, you ain't blessed. You just a liar who mistreat other people, who use other people, who wrongfully do other people. Then you go on your channel, talk like you the realest dude in the world. Talk like you got the realest game in the world. Talk about how like you will never cross, you will never betray nobody. Money could never make you do this and you a stand up genuine dude. No, 
So how could a person respect your show? You didn't took out the integrity of it. You didn't took the integrity out of the show. And then you want to throw brothers under the bus for you being wrong, for you being out of pocket. That ain't right. But if it was a female, you would be more generous, more generous. I'm even hearing about some other crazy stuff like, come on, man. Brothers need to really get it together, man. But it is what it is, though, man. It's your boy, Battle Truth. and ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box, man. Subscribe to Battle Truth.